turtle nerds, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I wanted to talk about a very important topic that I have struggled with, I'm sure many people have struggled with before, and that is turtle aggression. Turtles are solitary creatures. They do not like one another. That's not to say that you can't habitate them together, it's just that turtles live their lives alone. They come together for mating and then that's it. They are solitary creatures, like me. I have no friends. <laughs> now, the first step in dealing with turtle aggression is identifying, is my turtle aggressive or is it simply just a fluke, a mistake? Maybe it mistook your other turtle for food during feeding time. Let's help identify signs of aggression. Aggression can come when one of your other turtles is sort of swimming at a side angle whenever the other turtle comes towards it. It'll look something sort of like if both of the turtles are like this and one comes over, he's gonna go like this and start to swim away sort of around it as if it's going around swimming against like the inside of a bowl or something. That's usually a good sign that your turtle is being bullied. Physical indication of course will tell you that your turtle is being picked on. Any bites or wounds or uh, scrapes or things like that that you find on your turtle can indicate signs of aggression. In my terrapins usually they'll bite the backs of the legs. That's usually where you would find the injuries but injuries can occur anywhere. Aggression is also not specified to one species any species of turtle can be aggressive towards another. So identifying whether your turtle is being bullied is one of the most important things in preventing it and figuring out a solution. General behavioral changes in your turtle's attitude, any bites or wounds, or potentially it not eating or being stressed out and constantly swimming against the tank can all be factors in turtle aggression. The easiest way to tell whether your turtle's being bullied is to see it happen. Sit around, make sure your turtles don't see you, and wait. Aggression can occur at any time for any number of reasons, within any age group of any species. After identifying whether your turtle is in fact being bullied, the next step is identifying a potential cause. Now there's no real set in stone way of telling why your turtle is being bullied. The first cause could be potentially of a lack of space. If you have too many animals in too small of an enclosure, odds are they're gonna start to compete with one another for space. Another thing that can make a turtle aggressive is rearranging things in the tank could cause them to become territorial. A third factor is being food driven. With my hatchling terrapins, I have had to separate them now because they'll mistake one another for food and accidentally bite down and latch on to one another. This is not really aggression because they get along just fine in their tub. I can tell this because they keep their tail out when they're swimming. If they were to tuck them in, that would mean that usually they're nipping at the backs of one another's tails. But I know that that's generally food-based. What did I just talk about? Oh, deterring aggression. So separation when feeding is very, very important and could help deter aggression. Visual barriers and different plants and decorations, giving your animals somewhere to hide just in case one of your other turtles decides to be a bit of a jerk for the day can sort of ease the tensions between your animals. If my roommate's being a total butt for whatever reason, I need to have a place to go. No, don't say that, Ben's amazing. Ben's amazing and I love him and he's never done anything wrong before in his life. Those are just a couple of different factors to deter aggression and identify what's going on. As I stated before, aggression can come about for any number of reasons. In hatchlings, they could mistake one another for food. They could be wanting more space. They could be lacking something in their diet. I have found that terrapins not fed enough protein will become aggressive with one another because they're naturally trying to seek out moving prey items which would signify protein heavy foods. In juveniles, it can be because a male that's coming of age beginning to bother a bunch of the other turtles, he could start becoming aggressive towards them or they can get sick of him and turn on him. In adults, it can simply be because adults and turtles are solitary creatures. They do not like one another. In my female Red Ear Slider Big Mama, every two months out of the year, she would become aggressive just because she was ovulating and ready to lay her eggs 
she starts to get hormonal, and in the same way males and females can both become aggressive sort of seasonally during the year. Only at certain times because they're breeding and their hormones are all worked up and it's like middle school but for turtles. Maybe high school. Middle school is a little weird. So there are multiple different reasons why aggression can come up, but now we're going to talk about how you can deal with it. Whether you have a hatchling, a juvenile, or an adult, if your turtle is being aggressive, there is only one surefire way to prevent it from ever, ever happening. You have to separate them. This is usually my last resort as I try every other way to keep the turtles from being aggressive to one another under the sun before I separate just because I don't want to believe that one of my turtles is being a jerk. So I am really sorry to say but the only surefire way to prevent your turtles from being aggressive are by separating them. So overall, aggression can happen in any species at any time. There doesn't even need to be a cause, which sometimes can be really frustrating, but it's how you identify and deal with that aggression that defines who you are as a turtle keeper. I just wanted to give a really quick and dry sort of chop together version of turtle aggression. Of course, there can be other factors that cause aggression and there can be other things for you to look out for. This is just generally what I look out for. So again, don't take everything I say as a word of law. These are just my experiences and I wanted to pump out this video for you guys because I missed last week because I was sick. I still kind of am, but whatever, y'all need content. So if you are part of the 1% of people that came to the end of this video, I want to thank you from the bottom of my little turtle filled heart. Please consider donating to my Patreon because this UVB light was $40 and fell in the turtle enclosure, so now I have to get a new one. I have all kinds of cool stuff that I'm going to be updating on the Patreon. Right now I have two patrons, one of which is my mother. So it would be really awesome if you guys could head on over there, even just $1 per month. It helps me out tremendously. It really pushes me to produce better and more and more consistent content for you guys. I do this for the people, not for the meat. And all of the revenue goes straight back into the animals. If you're new here, please consider giving me a thumbs up to tell me that I did a good job. Hit the subscribe button and the bell thing to get notified when I make a new video. Consider heading to the Patreon. I work really hard on that. If you want to become that next level turtle nerd, thank you guys again so much for watching. Give me a comment down below. How's life? How are your turtles? What's good? Thank you guys again so much for watching. I need a haircut and I will see you all in the next one. What do I do? I do this. I'm a human disaster.